All right, guys, so I'm out here under the uh, Volvo here, getting ready to do our oil sample for our 15,000 mile. I'll look up the exact mileage uh, on the truck in there and tell you it's, uh, it's been the last time we did this, the exact mileage, but I know it's around 15,000. Um, I don't have a pump to get this out, and I don't want to drain the oil. We got me a red Solo cup here. I've got this plug cracked loose. I've wiped the dirt and stuff around it, and I'm going to try to film this without making a huge mess, but I'm probably going to make a huge mess. I want to catch some in that cup right there and send off and see what we're looking like here. And I'm not going to change the oil right now. At least I don't plan to. I don't have a drain pan under here. So uh, I hope this doesn't go really bad. I may have to put the phone down and uh, do something different here. Let's see, I'm already spilling it. Let me move that cup over. not turn it over all right we got some going in the cup there now it is kind of hot too I've had the truck out here running a good bit warm the oil up Pretty warm on my fingers. Yep, she's full. Now if I can get the plug back in there. Okay. Got our oil sample right there a bit more than we need, but that's okay too. Hopefully, I don't knock no dirt in it. Got to wipe our hands up here, get this wipe back off, tighten back up. I'll see you on the top side. Alright guys, hopefully you can see me. I'm using my phone here to try to do this. I broke my camera. So, uh, that's what I'm using for now. That is our oil sample to send back to Blackstone. We'll wrap it up in that, put it back down in that bottle, put the cap on it good, and send that off to them. See what they have to say about it. Here's the oil change log that I keep in my truck with me. Um, I, I note this down every time I change it. I'm not changing it right now, so I won't be writing anything. We're just getting oil sample. Um, this was the last time I changed it when I did the video. Uh, 32,521, 33,600 engine hours. This is where we currently stand right here, 33,999 engine hours. So that is uh, 400 engine hours, basically 399. And then we are at 47,487, might as well say. So that's uh, 14,966 miles. So right at 15,000 miles. Um, they recommend I go ahead and change the oil, which I did not do because uh, I just drained, you know, what I needed to send for the sample and added back to it what I was low. And I kept running and it was like two months before I got this sample back because uh, I waited to send it off. And then it took them forever to get it. I think uh, the mail post office had something to do with that. And it took them a little while to get back to me. Anyway, so we're going to be doing a lot longer oil sample on the next one. But uh, basically, that's what we're looking at. This was uh, the old one for 25000 here. This is a new one for $15,000. Um, and you can look at the lead uh, difference as well as the iron difference. 
And as I say, I think that bearing starvation problem where we starve the bearings of oil, um, got a little bit low on oil because I was trying to run it 25,000 miles without adding any, and it got a little low, and I uh, had a little bit of oil pressure fluctuation on the 25,000 one. We didn't have any of those issues on the 15,000 one, and I did not add any oil. So that's what we're looking at. Uh, numbers look really good to me. The only thing they said was, it showed just a little bit of fuel dilution, but half a percent or something. So anyway, I want to uh, go ahead and get this in the video, get this video done. And y'all stay tuned for an upcoming video. We're going to be doing one, I think, around 40,000 miles and see what that turns out. I believe the engine hours on this, if you want to go by engine hours, um, 15,000 uh, was around 400 engine hours. Um, I think I may have said in the first part of this video, I uh, took that footage a couple months back, so... Don't quote me on that, but I believe that was right. And I think on the one at 25,000 was around 800 engine hours. So uh, anyway, I think we're going to do one around 40,000 or so with the same oil. I added some to it, and uh, we'll go over those results when I get them in. So as I was editing this video, I realized I didn't talk about the zinc levels and uh, that sort of stuff and the type of oil and what I'm running um, like I did in the previous video. If you go back and watch the previous video, I mentioned all that stuff. But uh, this was uh, Traveler 1540 oil uh, that is listed up here at the top right there. And um, I used one gallon of Lucas oil stabilizer in there and four four ounce bottles of zinc uh, ZDDP additive. And if you look right there at the zinc level, we're at 1502. Before we're at 1365. And that is probably because... Um, I had added three quarts of oil on the 25,000 mile where this one had zero quarts added on this particular oil change. And uh, you can look at the molly content. It shows the same thing there. We have uh, a little more molly. And uh, the stuff that's in that than what, uh, what we did last time because there was no oil added on this one. And I think the... Uh, the oil, the Traveler oil should have around 1,200 uh, parts per million on the zinc as it comes. So that boosted it up to 1,500. And if we look over here to the right on this column here, back up just a little bit, you can see that the average is, is 1147 on that. That's the universal averages over here on the right-hand corner of what uh, people get on just uh, regular oil because uh, there's probably not too many of them that's adding any zinc to it. But uh, that's what I found to help out so far on the camshaft issues that I was having on my previous engine. And uh, after I went through that, I uh, started adding some zinc additive in there because the old, uh, the old oil, when these engines were designed, had a higher zinc level in them than what the modern oils do. They reduced the zinc. Uh, I believe in 2007 when they come out with a diesel particulate filter, uh, because the zinc is bad for the particulate filter. So anyway, I just want to throw that uh, in the video as well. I think there's some more information maybe in the first video I did on the 25,000 uh, mile oil change if you want to go back and watch that. And I think I'll explain a little bit more about it. But I want to go ahead and throw uh, something in the end of this video as well um, because I'm sure people will be questioning. So anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.